The world of Formula One is no stranger to drama, both on and off the track. However, the ongoing saga involving Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff and his relentless pursuit of Max Verstappen has reached new levels of embarrassment. With Lewis Hamilton's departure to Ferrari confirmed for 2025 and the rumored announcement of Kimi Antonelli taking the vacant seat at Mercedes, Wolff's desperate attempts to lure Verstappen to the Silver Arrows have become a spectacle that borders on the pathetic. As things stand, it seems increasingly likely that Kimi Antonelli, the highly touted Mercedes junior, will be promoted to the senior team for the 2025 season, and speculation is rife that this will be announced at the upcoming Grand Prix in Monza. Adding fuel to the fire, Wolf recently let slip a Freudian slip, stating, I want everything to go well with George and Kimi next year, inadvertently confirming Antonelli's impending promotion. But despite this, Wolf has made it no secret that his true target for the seat was Max Verstappen. Over the past few months, Wolf has been on a public campaign to sway Verstappen away from Red Bull. Reports of inter-team tensions at Red Bull and a car that has been regressing in performance have only intensified Wolf's efforts. And in what can only be described as a public display of desperation, Wolf has repeatedly sung Verstappen's praises, stating in one interview that Max is an exceptional talent and every team would want a driver of his caliber. We would be foolish not to try and sign him. These comments have not only been embarrassing for Wolf, but have also undermined the confidence of both George Russell, who is currently contracted until the end of 2025, and Kimi Antonelli, the young driver expected to join the team next year. Wolf's open admission that Verstappen was his number one target implies that either Russell or Antonelli would have been sacrificed if Verstappen were to join Mercedes. This has created an atmosphere of uncertainty within the team, with both drivers potentially feeling like mere placeholders until Wolf can secure his prized target. Perhaps the most significant insult in this entire debacle is the slap in the face it represents to Lewis Hamilton. The seven-time world champion who has been the face of Mercedes for over a decade is set to leave the team at the end of the 2024 season, and Hamilton's decision to depart was reportedly driven by Mercedes' refusal to offer him a multi-year contract and an ambassadorial role post-retirement, offers that were instead dangled in front of Verstappen. This situation is made even worse by the fact that Verstappen is one of Hamilton's main rivals. By aggressively courting Verstappen, Wolf has shown a blatant disregard for Hamilton's legacy and contributions to the team. And although some will say that there is no sentiment in F1 and that it is a sport that is ruthless by nature, it is important to add that Hamilton, who many expected to retire at Mercedes, was essentially pushed out by the team rather than him leaving on his own admission. And thus, I'm sure that this hasn't helped Toto Wolff's public relations with many fans who once supported him as their team principal. Adding insult to injury to the disrespect towards Hamilton, Wolff recently admitted that he has a very good relationship with Jos Verstappen, revealing that one of his biggest regrets was not calling Jos after the infamous crash between Hamilton and Verstappen at Silverstone in 2021, and Wolf implicitly puts forward that this failure may have cost him the chance to sign Max for the 2025 season. And what makes this worse is that Wolf also texted Verstappen after the manipulated 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and congratulated him on his fraudulent title and telling him he deserved it, despite the fact that his own driver was wrongfully denied a record-breaking eighth title which was probably a clear attempt to stay in the Dutchman's good graces in hopes of one day signing him one day in the future. These revelations highlight the extent to which Wolf is willing to go to secure Verstappen's services, even if it means betraying his own drivers and tarnishing his reputation. But despite all his efforts, Wolf's pursuit of Verstappen has ultimately come to nothing, because as of today, Wolf has accepted that Verstappen will not be joining Mercedes for the 2025 season, but has publicly stated that he retains an interest in signing the Red Bull driver for 2026 following summer talks with Verstappen's camp. But this admission has only added to Wolf's embarrassment. By making his intentions public, Wolf has implicitly suggested that Mercedes won't extend Russell's contract beyond 2025, as they will be holding out for Verstappen, and it is almost a done deal that Kimi Antonelli will be their long-term prodigy. This creates an incredibly awkward situation within the team, as Russell now knows that his future is uncertain and dependent on whether or not Verstappen decides to join Mercedes in 2026. In the end, Toto Wolff's desperate pursuit of Max Verstappen has made him look like a fool, 
His actions have undermined his current drivers, disrespected Lewis Hamilton, and tarnished his own reputation as one of the sport's most respected team principals. While Wolf may still hope to sign Verstappen in the future, the damage to his credibility may be too great to repair.